So for today, we're going to be looking at the casual sets for Eververse. If you guys don't know, Eververse is selling some casual sets and they look really, really cool. Uh, we will be looking at how the armor looks. We will be looking at how it shaders, but I won't talk anymore through the shaders just because like, what the fuck is there for me to say aside from I like the colors that I'm seeing? I really don't add much to it. So if anything, I'm just going to have some music in the background so you guys can see how it shaders. And then if there's like some things that I really do need to say, I'll say it after we look at the shaders and then that way I can be like, oh yes, just to let you know, this armor takes the shader differently and whatnot. So that way you guys can be aware. But usually I don't have really much to say about this and I have more shaders to show you anyway. So I'd rather just have music in the background so you guys can just enjoy how it looks. So if you guys like the new format, let me know in the comments below. Also, I would I would appreciate if you guys like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff because I usually never buy Eververse armor with real money. Uh, so I would really appreciate a like and comment on all that because, uh, it hurt to buy these as some, some of my old subscribers would tell you, I hate Eververse. I think Eververse has, uh, devalued the game's rewards immensely. So for me to buy this just makes me feel like a hypocrite and part of the problem now. So, uh, if you guys can like and comment, blow the video up, I'd actually feel a lot better. So let me know what you guys think and let's just get into it. So to start off, we're going to be looking at the Hunter Titan and Warlock. I personally don't like the Hunter one. Now, let me let me explain a few things here. Uh, the arms, I think, are unnecessarily asymmetrical. I don't know why they went with it. I think uh, the right sleeve should have just been on the left sleeve and just leave it at that. I think that would have been such a banger of a like arm because I like the right arm a lot. I, I hate the left one. Like it's either or like if you had given me the left arm on both sides, I would have been fine with it because it looks like like you're wearing a T-shirt or like a like a like a T-shirt over and then an undershirt under. So like I would have been fine with either or. But the fact that they just slapped an asymmetry on it, I'm just like fucking why, bro? Who is this person at Bungie just constantly like asymmetry all the way, baby? Like why the fuck do we have to suffer this stupid bullshit? <sighs> But yeah, I don't like the arms. Uh, chest piece, I actually like it a lot. The only unfortunate part is that the gray like collar thing at the top next to the cloak, that's actually part of the cloak. So when you take the cloak out, you will see the thing that it's missing and it's really weird. And it looks especially stupid when you only wear the cloak because then like, for example, if you're wearing like another casual set, that gray shit will just still be there. And you're just like, it looks so stupid. So I definitely think they should have just left that gray thing on the chest piece and not the cloak itself but it also makes sense considering it actually wraps around the cloak, but even still, I still hate it. Like it's stupid. Uh, boots, I think is probably the best piece from this whole set. Uh, aside from the helmet, I think the helmet is the best piece, but the boots are very usable, very, very boring, but very usable. Uh, the reason I say boring is because they kind of are boring. Like it's, I don't know. I definitely like personally when it, when it comes to casual armor, uh, I, the bar is the Lux armor for, for almost all the classes, if I'm being honest. Except Warlocks, Warlock that gypped hard because the gold doesn't change color. But the Lux armor is like grade A, like this is this is where I want to see uh, casual armor. Because each piece from the Lux armor, I use it almost daily. So like when I saw this armor, I was like, it better look cool. Or when I heard we were getting casual armor, I was like, it look, better look cool. Better be Lux level. And unfortunately, it's not. I think a lot of these pieces, aside from the helmet, is not Lux armor. I think the helmet is Lux level. I do like the cloak. Let me talk about the cloak real quick. I actually love the cloak. I made I made a look with it and it looks super cool. Um, again, like my only really big gripe about it is just the gray like collar thing is just gonna look really off of certain pieces. So yeah, uh, arms not that great. Chest piece is fine. Boots are is fine. Helmet super dope and the cloak super dope if you can manage to have that gray shit like look cool with your chest piece. Uh, Titans, I think your helmet is the fucking best. Like, legitimately think it's the best helmet you guys got, like, right now. It's so fucking cool. The only annoyance is I think it takes off colors weirdly, but we'll look at that when we look at the shaders. Chespies, super dope. Definitely going to be using this with uh, certain pieces from other casual sets. If not, you can also use it with armor pieces because I think it looks cool. Uh, boots, super dope as well. I like them a lot. I do think there's a glow on the actual like feet, but we'll see when we look at the, sh with the shaders and the arms. I'm not a fan of, I don't think if I talked about the arms, but I'm not a big fan of the arms, uh, mostly because of the insignia, the tiger insignia on the right side. I just think it's unneeded. Like you don't need that. And it just kind of like really detracts from the, all of the arms. Like they look cool, but then you see that insignia and you're just like, fuck, why? 
and the reason i say that is because it takes shaders like when you see the shadering it's just like ugh, like i i hate it i absolutely hate it and then the mark unfortunately reminds me of the lux armor set uh i don't know if the titans and warlocks that armor set is called the lux armor but it's like from the same season or from the same uh bundle that eververse sold which is uh season of the worthy if i remember correctly either way it, it reminds me of that bond or mark so much that that's the first thing i said like not only is it covering the left side but it also has the titan titan insignia and it's just like at, at least you could have like had the left side or the right side covering it instead of the left side so i'm a little annoyed with it it's not bad by any means it still looks cool it's just it reminds me too much of the Lux one. Warlocks, I think you guys got the biggest L. I, not a big fan of it. Uh, the helmet is not that great. I think the helmet is goofy looking at best. Uh, the chest piece actually really cool. It's just unfortunate that the that person in Bungie just has a big boner for asymmetry because there's a lot of asymmetry in this piece, uh, specifically like the warlock insignia on the left side. Uh, the colors basically is what I'm saying. Uh, the arm's kind of boring. I'm going to be real with you guys. It's just cloth with a belt on it. Um, oh, well. And then the boots, definitely the best boots in the game for Warlocks, especially if you're trying to go for like a military look. I'm definitely going to be using it for that purpose. And the bond, as although boring looking, I actually think, think looks really cool. So let me know what you guys think. Also, the names of these armor sets is going to be the Limitless Subversion for the Hunters, Kogan Beat for the Titans, and then Technologic for the Warlocks really like these sets uh definitely for pieces pieces a lot of these sets are bangers as holes i'm like okay with the most of these i think the titan is like the least local like i like it the most but the titan or the hunter and the warlock are just kind of like there's pieces where it's just like i don't think that's i think that's unforgivable like the the cloak being connected to the chest piece i usually hate that because it means it just really limits your choice so i usually hate it and that warlock helmet is straight fucking doo-doo butter so i'm not a big fan of it um and it's not just like oh it looks aesthetically stupid or anything it's just i don't like how it looks personally like i don't think it looks cool if you think it looks cool by all means rocket man i i'm not judging you it's just me personally i don't like it and that's really usually all the case for all of my fashion videos it's just my taste i don't like certain things so yeah let me know what you guys think about the armor in the comments below let's look at how it actually shaders So that's pretty much it uh just a few things to know for the shadering uh the only thing i can really think of is the fact that like all of these armor pieces take shaders really well aside from the boots for the hunters uh specifically the pockets on the on the sides like right next to the knee i would say uh that's the only piece that i see that's kind of problematic like specifically for like abyssinian gold it takes like this brown color which is really weird usually never you, actually that color is never there for abyssinian gold so it might just be that sometimes shaders take uh, a really weird effect on that part of that of the boots uh also the fact that the titans have two glows it's going to be on the helmet which looks super super cool and then on the boots specifically like uh on the heel i guess he was not heel that's not the heel uh the like the top part of the foot uh other than that yeah a lot of the pieces that look really really dope uh specifically like i really like how cryptic insignia looks on this i just think it looks really cool specifically for the warlocks all of that it look just turns black which is super cool 
Uh, just be aware that the arms for the Titans also take uh, the color differently than everything else. It looks like it takes the same color that the chest piece has, which is cool. I actually do like that a lot. But if you want to combine everything at like one color, just be aware that you're going to be fighting the chest piece because the chest piece has the same color as the arms, but then it has the same color as the boots. So just be aware of that. Other than that, I really don't see anything problematic or anything like that. Just uh, the only thing I can really see that's going to be annoying is the arms for the Titans. That's going to be annoying. The undershirt for the chest piece for the Hunter, I can see being annoying as well. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I will definitely be making uh, individual pieces for this for the for the classes, which if you guys don't know, that's basically what we take each piece from all of the armor sets from this, for example, and we make whole armor sets from it. So, for example, like the helmet, the chest piece, all of those pieces for the hunter. I'm going to make a video of it and just have individual pieces of it as like a whole armor set just to show you guys like more of an example, just to show you like what I do with my sets. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I really do appreciate you guys. Uh, I have a lot of content coming up. I do. I have the uh, the day one raid content. I already edited all of it. It's all rendered. I just need to make thumbnails for it. And we're going to be posting all of that. So it's me and my clan mates just going through it. It's a lot of fun. I really appreciate them. I also have a lot of fashion to catch up on. I specifically have the new exotics. I've got all, the, all of them already. And I already basically have the videos done. I just need to edit them and do some audio for them. And then I'm done, which is that's six videos technically, or I can just combine the exotics into one video, which I most likely will do that just because it saves on making more videos. And we also will, oh, I, I'm also working on the individual sets for the, uh, for the armor sets that we already reviewed. If you guys don't know, we reviewed these two right here and we're, I'm still working on the individual videos for both of these. So this, the individual videos or the individual pieces for this video might take a little bit longer. And I'm also working on an Eververse video or not Eververse. I'm sorry for we're, we're, I'm working on a Zer video where I actually might make an individual video for this one to explain it a little bit further, because I, we're going to be looking at what Zer is selling all month. And I'm going to let you guys vote which exotic you guys want to see me do for an example set. Because if you guys don't know, I used to cover something called Xur's Exotic Dare, which was uh, whatever whatever exotic Xur would sell, I would make an armor set around it. But unfortunately, after doing it for like four to no, it was like two months straight, I think it was, or a little bit under, uh, I kind of got burnt out because it was just so much fashion that I had to do constantly. Not like I don't already do that, but it's it's hard to like continually make new new looks for an armor set that continually comes up a lot for ever or for Zer. so starting forward each month i will be making as a uh, Zer's exotic dare video with the choices that you guys want to have for exotics so i will make a post for it and i probably will make a video to explain it so that way people get can get ready but also see that i'm going to be posting a lot more community stuff so I know this was a lot. Um, I appreciate you guys coming up to this point. Be safe and I'll see you guys later.